Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c cubed divided by c plus c plus c is equals to 16 and we solve this problem for the values of c. So I hope so you like this method. Uh, now uh, the very first thing we are going to do is here first we focus in the exponent of this term and its exponent is 3 so we break this 3 as c to the power of 2 plus 1 and it is divided by here you see that c is added by 3 times which means that we need to uh, add the coefficients of the c and it will become here 3 times of c and it is equals to 16. So further in the next step we need to use here the nice exponent law and you know about that if we have a to the power of m plus n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So according to this exponent law we need to break the exponent of these terms and it will be written as c square multiplied by c and it is divided by 3 times of c is equals to 16. And further you see here this c is cancelled out by this c and uh, in the next step uh, we will get here c square divided by 3 is equals to 16. And now we move this 3 to the right hand side it is divided by here when we move in the right hand side it is multiplied by 16. And we will get here c square is equals to 3 multiplied by 16. And because we solve this problem for the values of c, so that uh, we need to take uh, the square root on both of the sides. So when we will take square root, it will be written as square root of c squared is equals to square root of 3 multiplied by 16. And now uh, here we need more simplifications and this 2 and this square root are gone we get here c is equals to here you remember one thing is that when we can take square root on both of the sides so that we will uh, write the plus minus sign uh, any one of the sides so uh, here we will write the plus minus sign and we you see here the square root of 16 is equals to 4 into square root of 3. So these are the two real roots of the given equation. So further in the next step we need to verify these roots and we will check that which one of the roots are solution and which one of the roots are extraneous root. So uh, in order to verification of the roots uh, we need to first copy down given question statement here. So the given question statement is c cubed divided by c plus c plus c is equals to 16. So this is the our given question statement and uh, here uh, we divide uh, these two into the two cases. So in this case we uh, choose the positive value it is 4 times of square root of 3 and here we choose a negative value it is minus 4 times of square root of 3. So here we verify both of these roots and uh, you see here when uh, when we will uh, put uh, this root in the left hand side it will be written as uh, so this will become here 4 times of square root of 3 and its whole cubed divided by this will becomes 4 times of square root of 3 plus 4 times of square root of 3 plus 4 times of square root of 3 and this is equals to 16. So here we check that is our left hand side is equals to 16 or not. So for this we need some simplifications here. You see here this is, this is the one term this is the one same term is added by 3 times. Uh, so we write this term as uh, so first we write the numerator term it is 4 times of square root of 3 divided by uh, so this the same term is added by 3 times so we write it as 3 times of 4 into square root of 3 and here we check that is this equals to 16 or not. So you see here this is the one same term is cancelled out by this one term and after cancellation of these terms we will get here 4 times of square root of 3 is divided by 3 is equals to 16. 
so when we cancel these terms here we will get here this is 4 times of square root of 3 and its whole square because one term is cancelled by here so two terms are remaining uh, so we have uh, here when we ex expand the square of this term so we get 4 the square of 4 becomes 16 and uh, the square of square root of 3 is equals to 3 and it is divided by 3 and it is equals to 16 so this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 and finally we will get here 16 is equal to 16 so this is the our final answer and this shows that the value of uh, c is equals to square root uh, 4 times of square root of 3 is satisfied our given question statement so this is the one uh, root of the given equation one solution of the given equation so in the same pattern we verify the second uh, root so now we can again substitute this value here after substitution this value it will be written as minus 4 times of square root of 3 and its whole cubed divided by this will be written as minus 4 times of square root of 3 minus 4 times of square root of 3 minus 4 times of square root of 3 and it is equals to 16 or not so this is the our claim so here we need as uh, some working and it will be written as uh, so it will becomes minus 4 times of square root of 3 and its whole cubed divided by so here you see that again minus 4 times of square root of 3 is added by 3 times it will be written as 3 times of minus 4 into square root of 3 so this whole term is cancelled out by this term and uh, here you get uh, the value of it is equals to 16 so further in the next step uh, here uh, we need more simplifications and it will be written as so one term is cancelled by here the remaining terms we, we get here minus 4 times of square root of 3 and its whole square divided by 3 is equals to 16 or not this is the our claim and here you see that minus 4 square is equals to 16 and uh, square root uh, 3 and its whole square is equals to 3 and it is divided by 3 and it is equals to 16 or not so this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 and finally we will get here 16 is equals to 16 so this also shows that the second value of c is also satisfied our given question statement so this shows that these are the two solutions of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos